Can we use ChatGPT to write the cloud code for us in Parse? Let's find it out together. So here I have my Backfrap account and a new test app I just created. And in here I created a person class with only two properties. Both are strings, so I have name and last name. And I want to create a third one by cloud code that will concatenate name and last name, but I don't want to write any code. Will ChatGPT be able to understand my prompt and create that cloud code for me? Let's try it out. So here I have ChatGPT and I'm using version 3.5 and I'm going to describe as close as possible the situation I'm in and what I expect to achieve. So let's type it together. I have an app in back for app using made using the JavaScript SDK. In this app, I have a class named person with two properties. There are two string properties named name and last name. Write some cloud code before save trigger that on once a new person is created adds a new property called full name which is the concatenation of name a blank space and last name hopefully this is information enough so chat gpt can understand what i'm trying to do let's see how it works So it created a parse cloud before save trigger, which is correct for the person class, which is also correct. It is going to retrieve the person from the request object, check if it is new, then it's going to set a new variable called full name, which is the person's name, a space, which is over here, and the person's last name. Then finally set the person's last uh, full name as the full name it just got there. So let's try it out, see if it works in the cloud code section of my app. So I'm going to copy this. Back to my app, I'm going to go to cloud code, functions and web hosting, open my main.js file, and in here I will just paste the code and click deploy. There you go. So now my back to my database and the person class. So I still don't have the uh, third column in here as I didn't uh, uh, trigger the cloud code as I didn't create a new user. But let's try to create a new one. So add a new row. I'm going to call this Nicholas, which is my son's name and his last name. Click add. So the object was created and as you can see, I don't have the third column in here right now because it's still using the old uh, schema as I didn't refresh it. But if I fully refresh the screen, there you go, you got the full name only for Nicholas, which is the first, the name, a blank space and the last name. So you can use ChatGPT to write the complex parts of your cloud code without knowing anything about programming as long as you can correctly describe what you're trying to achieve. So if you found this video helpful, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so it can help us grow. I also share this link with a friend and they can learn something too. If you're a subscriber, thank you for that. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or any implementation you'd like to see, please leave on the comment section down below. We always answer all the questions. I hope this content was useful to you and hope to see you back. See you soon. Bye-bye.